This case is an 85-year-old man with a sigmoid cancer bound for laparoscopic resection. He has comorbidity due to former cerebral insult with the right-sided paresis. He has had prostate uh, surgery due to hyperplasia and uh, can't empty his bladder, so he's uh, performing self-catheterization three times every day. He has atrial fibrillation for which he is uh, medicated. He's bound for laparoscopic resection and we're going to do this in a fast track setting, despite his comorbidity as we believe that especially these patients may benefit from that. When I talk to a patient with comorbidity or not, old or not, I actually tell them the same things. I tell them what they can expect of the time they are in the ward, both prior and after the operation. But maybe when it's a patient with a comorbidity, I emphasize a little bit more how important mobilization is. Today is the day of surgery. Our patient underwent laparoscopic colonic resection this morning and after three hours at the post-anesthetic care unit, he is now back at the ward. Today is the first post-operative day and our patient is doing well. He has no pain, he has no nausea, he has been eating and drinking and uh, he has been out of bed for eight hours during the day. Today is the third post-operative day and it will be the day of discharge for our patient. He has fulfilled all the discharge criteria. He has had bowel function, he has no pain, he eats and drink normally and he really looks forward to go home. Mm -hmm.